Hi, welcome back. In this lesson, I will teach you how to load user profile with Redox Toolkit. Without wasting time, let's begin. Now, let me show you what I'm going to teach you in this lesson. For example, if we try to sign in and pay attention to the Redox table and click the button, as you can see, we have actions, user requests, user um, success, and user profile requests and success. Okay, so here this is the initial state, and in the user profile success, as you can see, we have data in login user. Okay, we have uh, user info. Okay, and this is the profile. Okay, so uh, we made uh, uh, some little code adjustment, refactory, and uh, Let's go to the code editor to see it. In our code editor, so let me address a few adjustments we've made. For example, we have a newer version of React Water Dome. And in user reducer, instead of having user, we have we, we put uh, user info. Okay, so in the store, so we have, I mean, uh, inside uh, login user, user info. Why? It's because when a user is signed in who, um, in the uh, user sign-in reducer, in the initial state, we need to have the same structure so that when we extract user info, we can evaluate okay, um, according to what we want. And here we send uh, null if user um, info not exists in the local storage because null will be evaluated as a falsy value in JavaScript. Okay? And uh, we have uh, the admin route, okay? And uh, also we have the user route, so admin can also access user route. Okay, so that's it. So now let's go to create a user profile reducer. So now let's create user profile reducer in the reducer file. So um, to continue, uh, let's add a comment. Um, user profile, okay? Like so, and export response um, user profile user. Okay, and uh, we are going to use our function as always. And uh, here it accepts um, a state and uh, um, action. Okay, so state. Um, will accept, uh, I mean, uh, empty object, so, and uh, we're going to use a switch case statement, okay, and here uh, we will return uh, the default state, um, return the default state, which is state, state, the object, okay, and uh, here we'll have action that type action that type okay and what type of action do we have so we'll have um first um user profile request so and in the user profile request uh, we want to return i mean um We want to return in user profile request. Uh, let's return uh, the state. Okay, we spread operator loading true. Okay, and after that, uh, we will have uh, the case of user profile success. Okay, and uh, what do we want to return? Um, let's return in user profile success. I mean, uh, the state loading false and user. I've told you that in. Uh, this situation you can return whatever you want to fit your need okay and name your state whatever you want okay but when you you are going to call it so remember the name um uh, that you gave okay and success action that payload success and uh if uh, uh the user profile fail let's add the case okay so what do we want to return we want to return um, um, the state loading false, okay, error action that payload. And uh, if you we want to reset, we can also reset um, uh, 
a profile, we return empty object, and uh, for now, that's it, and save. After creating the user profile with user, so we need to call it in star, okay? So in the combined with users, so we we'll comment this, okay? And uh, in, you see login user, login user, okay? And uh, I've renamed user reducer to user reducer site, okay? And now, now let's go to user action to create a user profile action, okay? So um, there's nothing too fancy. So we name it uh, user profile, and we have uh, uh, that we turn uh, um, another function async. So this is possible with Redux chunk, okay? And we have the same user profile success and fail, and obviously we we have imported them from user constant the same way as uh, user um, uh, uh, reducer here. And uh, uh, now we dispatch okay, each um, action, okay? In this uh, case, uh, we extract data from Axio, okay? The endpoint is uh, forward slash API get me to have user profile um, behind the scene. And in the user profile success, we um, have our payload uh, data. We attribute use, uh, the payload with data and here if we have error so we dispatch uh, user profile fail and save now the next step uh, is to create i mean uh, a new file named user profile so let's use rafce okay in this step there is nothing to fancy a uh, fragment and uh, div dot uh, container dash fluid okay and uh, I want to bring a user extract user I mean equal use selector hook like so it will be auto imported and we will have state in this state we want to choose a uh, uh, state that let me show you in the store state that user profile Okay, copy and go here and paste it. And also we wanna uh, dispatch action. So uh, const dispatch. Okay, like so we will use use dispatch hook. Okay, so it will be auto imported like so. And um, after that, so we will need to bring. Uh, the user profile uh, action, okay, like so. And uh, what else? So after that, um, use effect, use effect hook, okay. Bring from React, accept an our function to parameter, and. Uh, also an array of dependencies okay so here we will uh dispatch uh the action and what is the name of our action is a uh, user profile uh, user profile action okay like so and has dependency we will have to pass dispatch Oop, uh, dispatch and after that uh, yeah i think um i think that's it and uh, what else after that so um we wanna have in our return so uh profile so it could be also name okay, because this is the name and email we extract user and we have user that name, user that email. So um, that's it and save. Now we need to create a new route to protect this user profile. Lastly, um, we have created a new route 
uh, we name it for slash user for slash profile and we wrap user profile page with user what which is a protected what so that's it guys and girls so if you like this video please leave a thumbs up if you have um question please use the comment section and uh, don't forget to share it with your friends so that more people can watch our videos so from now thanks for watching and see you on the next video bye bye